everyone. Today we are doing the second part to Wedding Try On. This Wedding Try On takes longer than you think. We're now in shade. Well, you can still see sun sunshine through the windows of that and, and from the mirror as well. But uh, yeah, we are now on part two. So I found this while going through all of my outfits, out of looking through all the outfits to find out what I was going to try on for you. And I found this one and I know I've never worn this because I've still got the tag in it. <laughs> and the reason why I haven't worn it is because the number on the back of that um, is a number that I thought I wouldn't get into but I've popped it on and I'm pleasantly surprised. I know I've still got a few lumps and bumps showing but it's it's not too bad. I'm, I'm very pleased but what I like about this is yes it's got a, a its own belt. It's a bit higher than I would want it but uh, I usually have mine about there. Uh, but it's got the, the hourglass line lineage lineage of the design of the dress so you've got the extra panels and colors is it on the back as i can, can't remember yes it is on the back as well so front and back is identical so uh, i think one person who shows off a dress with this really well is uh, carol vorderman she um because she's got the curvaceous figure something similar to mine um, but it looks really really well so uh, yes it's love it but the other thing is um, with this outfit it could be for a wedding but give me a second a jacket to it and I could wear it for the office as well I don't think that's too bad a cropped jacket slightly shorter nipping at the back there so when I do it up it gives me the waist don't do it up that often though but yeah I'm quite pleased with this one so might be wearing it a bit more to the office beforehand but anyway let's go on for another outfit okay. my absolute fave dress I think for a wedding it's, it's red which you can obviously see but for me it just makes me feel good nice trimmy any waist it's got the off the shoulder um, yes my little pouch at the moment is showing a bit more than it would normally do but it's just lovely matched it with uh, today um, so black hosiery so uh, yeah with the black shoes just to tone it down because of course you don't want to upstage the bride not a good thing and yeah but yeah um, again ideal for party party dressing swinging around doing all of that mustn't show your stocking tops definitely don't do that but it's just enjoyable to wear feels good and what else can I say makes me feel good so if I feel good then it's just absolutely ideal. Oh, there. So with that one, all done and dusted, and I will then uh, go on to the next one. Oh yeah, the other thing about this is it's nice and stretchy. So again, it fits me nicely as well. So let's go for the next one. A 
I'd lost track of the number of dresses anyway. Another dress I have worn to a wedding uh, quite, a, quite a while ago, uh, this one was, but again, enjoyed wearing it. Had to be very careful in certain aspects because it was a very windy day. But uh, going from the feet down, or feet up, <laughs> feet up, that's where we're going. Starting at the bottom, got my white shoes on because it goes with the dress. However, I do know it doesn't go with the black um, hold-ups that I'm wearing at the moment. That is um, definitely very Essex, and for um, non-UK people, i.e. American and other aliens, um, Google um, Essex girls, because you will then understand white shoes and black tights, because um, that, that's what it was all about. Anyway, so I just couldn't be bothered to change my hosiery, um, my hold-ups this time. So, uh, uh, also with this dress, it does have um, pockets. And I've just overemphasized it because I've put some fancy carrier bags. Remember those? Cost me 10p each, they did. Anyway, pockets in a dress not a good thing because as you saw well for me it's not a good thing because as, as you saw it um, overemphasizes my hips and the dress just goes like that but otherwise it's handy for a tissue that's about it a little tissue or something but not a phone because again your phone will just go like that and pull your dress down one side otherwise i do like it snippy any waist again and uh, flares out again, as I say, with the uh, with the um, dancing and boogieing about of, a, of, a, of an evening. But for me, it was a, a very windy day, so I spent most of the day, hold on, walking around like this, making sure that I didn't have my dress go flary up because of how windy it was. So it was uh, not so good. Not so good that day. It was the dress. It was uh, bought a while ago, and it was just one of those things that, which happens. You can never understand or say what the weather's going to be like on on a day. So you have to just go with the flow. But I do like it. It's a bit stretchy as well, which is nice. Um, the back, just a straight plain, plain back, which. When you look in the mirror, very nice in that respect. So yeah. So it was very comfortable to wear, I must admit, and uh, definitely don't have the carry bags. But for pockets like that, just absolutely ideal. But not. Hold on. We can go. Hmm, no, definitely not a good idea. Anyway, so let's do another dress. Ooh. Got a bit overcast, a bit cooler. And there is a dark cloud out there, which I'm not happy about. Anyway, right, pink. Another, similar to the first recording of dresses, I had a pink dress, another pink dress here. So with this one, um, initially, I've, well, I've got pink on now, pink shoes, but I did put black on, but that, then it was a bit too uh, morbid in that respect. So in, I changed them to the pink, but of course with the pink, I've got the wrong hosiery on, I've got the black hosiery on. So I would probably then actually go for um, top um, or natural hosiery, which then, if um, as it's getting a bit cooler, I would then put top shoes on, then natural hosiery, and then I'll have um, a top or fawn or that kind of jacket to go over the top, which of course I haven't got with me at the moment, but I think I might need it soon. But otherwise, like the dress, it's um, it's a two-layer thing. It's got an underlay and then this over the top. 
and with the ribbing effect it's very uh, forgiving for my figure I would, I would say for me I like it very very much it's uh, stretchy as well which always helps on a for a wedding bumblebee as well dotting about the place <laughs> I like it very, very much. But going back to the shoes, these aren't my favourite shoes. They're um, they're a bit long in the toe. Um, in that respect. So for me, I would say for these ones, I would because uh, when I bend, look, I've got an extra inch or so. Well, definitely an extra inch. So I, <laughs> and then they start to turn up. <laughs> Look at this. Go for it. Yeah. I've got turny uppy shoes. Um, they haven't got a platform either, which, as you know, I prefer a platform. So for these ones, it's kind of not my favourite. But I haven't got any more um, pink shoes. Um, pink, my um, shoe collection, I can only have so much. So for me, it's uh, do with what I, what I can. So, Right, one more dress, last one. Let's go and change. Right then, where's the sunshine cup come from? Sorry, huh. old dandelion head. Look, there we are. I wish this weather would sort itself out. Anyway, right, we've, uh, last dress I'm, I'm now in, and with this dress, uh, there is, uh, I bought this same time as I bought um, the dress from uh, one of my other videos, which is Late in a Mini Dress, and they're exactly the same material. It's a double layer, which is uh, very comfortable. So, and, oh. Sorry about the noise in the background, someone's cutting their hedge. So it's going to be on and off in, in this section. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I um, bought this at the same time as late in the mini dress. So really nice. And oh, cameraman, can you just um, zoom in here? There's a bit of detail. And for me, it's really annoying because I was trying to smoothen it. I've got a nice smooth side this side. And then I got a bit of ruching, but of course that's detail to the dress, which I had to get used to. But anyway, <laughs> so um, also with this dress, I'm still wearing the black hold-ups, and that the reason being for me wearing these is to show you that you don't wear black hosiery to a wedding. It well, I don't, shall I say? Um, summer wedding, spring wedding, you wear natural hosiery. Um, and then, you, or none at all, depending on what you feel like, but you don't wear black. For me, black is for um, business wear or when you're um, evening out, sombre occasions, um, or a winter, we winter wedding. Winter wedding, perfect, yes. And I could very easily put, keep the black shoes on the hosiery, put possibly a black jacket with it, and then it, it would be for a winter wedding but for me it would be for a summer wedding it would be a navy jacket but I haven't I haven't got a navy jacket or a white stroke form you know so picks up the colours from the dress and then of course I can change my shoes to go with white shoes as well which is perfect because you know I've got white shoes <laughs> anyway, it's a nice field dress it's because of the double layering it, it, it just feels nice over the body and uh, it's a decent length as well tiny bit of stretch to it which is again important because of a certain area which you already know about that I'm not too <laughs> happy with but I'm going to be doing something about that anyway this long haul of trying on dresses for you um, yeah, trying on all of these dresses has taken a good couple of hours. It takes a while to actually stand here, record for you, and then go and get changed. It's 
swapping everything, jewellery, the lot of, of course, hosiery as well. So, um, next one, next uh, video probably will be something much easier, something like mini skirts, because they're really easy. Slip, in, slip on, slip off, much, much easier to, to put on. So, I will see you next time, and hopefully, it won't be too long. Bye.